Hey guys, Jess from Curse here. We're continuing with our FanFest 2013 coverage. Here I am with Arnar. He had to teach me how to say his name. From CCP, he's one of the senior producers of EVE Online, and he's going to talk to me a little bit today about Dust514. So essentially what we're doing right now is through the open beta of Dust, we're trying to integrate the uh, new community that's coming in through Dust514 mm -hmm. into the 10-year-old community base of EVE Online. Uh, and some of the ways we're doing that is through uh, both storytelling, but also with live events, where we essentially explain the, the advent of these Dust514 mercenaries into the universe of EVE uh, through the backstory of EVE. Uh, and we try to get these live events going where we have both spaceship pilots in EVE and the mercenaries on the ground sort of doing a live event together, fighting, killing each other, you know, doing all the merry things one does in a computer game. Mm -hmm. And that's sort of rolling out this this new uh, disruptive force of the mercenary in the EVE universe. Oh, awesome. So now do you envision a lot of people playing Dust 514 separately and only playing Dust without ever really playing EVE? Or do you envision most people playing both games to their, you know, kind of full integration? Uh, I would imagine a lot of people like start out sort of from the very basic, just pure dust angle. But the beauty of the, the interconnected games and having them both happen on the same server in real time is the fact that even if you're playing and you don't even know about EVE Online, even if you're playing just dust you're on your PS3 having fun, mm -hmm. uh, you're still contributing to the EVE universe because you're still a part of that massive world and you're still fighting on planets that are being you know surrounded by spaceship cabinets. Mm -hmm. Whether you know it or not, you are you know a part of that fabric. Mm -hmm. So is Dust going to be maybe a little bit more accessible? Because I know EVE, you just have to know so much knowledge about the game, it seems, before you can even begin. Is Dust going to be a little bit easier for new players to get into? No, sure. I mean, we've gone to great lengths to make sure that Dust is a very accessible game for the novice player who just wants to jump in, do five minutes of a deathmatch or whatever and have fun, but that it's also very deep. So once you've done your few rounds of, of uh, Dust, you have a, have a lot of fun with it, you start sort of exploring what all this other thing, what all these other things are, like corporations and why why are people talking to me in the middle of battle and saying, do you want an airstrike? And, and you're like, how, how is this happening? Mm -hmm. So you can sort of easily go down the rabbit hole of how deep and immersive this universe is. Start talking to the EVE community, start talking to the Dust community. But essentially, again, if you just want to have a quick deathmatch and have some fun, that's easy as well. So, but it's also very slightly marketing ploy to get people, you know, you sucker them in with the, oh, it's just an FPS, what? it's just, no. it's a PS3, what harm can it do? And then before you know it, you're subscribed to EVE and playing it 40 hours a week. Yeah, they'll be terrible, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you guys just hate making more money off of EVE, right? Yeah. Horrible Awful. business model. No, but <laughs> but in general, uh, I mean, you're right. So it is, of course, sort of leading people into the world like this. Sure. It gives them the option of playing, uh, you know, two different types of games happening in the same universe, impacting you know a vast amount of people, hundreds mm -hmm. of thousands of people all over the universe. Whether you want to play it on, uh, you know, as an FPS game on the console, or or you know, very heavily committed, you know, MMO on the PC. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can sort of choose your own play style, choose your own commitment, but you get back what you sort of invest into the game, right? Mm -hmm. If you invest hours upon hours into building alliances and building fleets and having massive shootouts in space, or if you build up corporations in dust, you sort of, you get out what you put in, right? Mm -hmm. So that's, I think that's the beauty of it. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Well, Arnar, thank you so much. It was a pleasure speaking with you. Once again, I'm Jess from Curse with your FanFest 2013 coverage. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the game.